This here is a stabilization test using a GoPro, or rather the gyroscopic data that is in the GoPro, to stabilize footage shot on the Canon EOS M6 Mark II with all stabilization disabled. No digital IS, it's just straight out of the camera. <laughs> I'm recording on a uh, using a lens which is an ultra wide lens, the Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter, with a speed booster at 16 mil ISO set to awesome, uh, auto ISO set to awesome. Uh, so essentially, what I wanted to see is how well this footage stabilizes in terms of the original footage in comparison to when attached to the GoPro, uh, or rather using the data from the GoPro uh, using a software called Gyro flow. So um, this feature, this gyroscopic data feature is actually something that's built into um, Sony cameras already. The downside, or rather there's two downsides to using Sony cameras uh, for uh, with regards to this feature. Downside number one is the fact that when you go into a lower light setting, such as uh, an environment such as this, um, the ISO is going to go up, obviously, but there's noise reduction. And so that noise reduction actually makes the footage look really muddy, especially anything above ISO 800. Uh, even, maybe 800 might be acceptable, but 1600 and above, it just looks really mushy. Whereas on the Canon, uh, I can apply the noise reduction after the fact using something like neat video. But right now, this is actually a rather well-lit scenario. Uh, dynamic range-wise is actually a bit of a challenging environment. Um, on my ISO 160, let's see if I step outside. Um, uh, where we have a whole ton of light, how that looks. In fact, I might even be overexposed. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that shutter speed up a little bit higher, 800. There we go, ISO 800 might not even be high enough. So I'm gonna run that to 2000, ISO 1 over 2000. Uh, still too bright. Let's go a little bit more. Let's run it all the way, ISO one over 4,000. I might have to uh, even close down the iris a little bit. Let's bring it down to F4. And how's it looking? There we go. Now we can see the background environment. Um, naturally, whenever we move, uh, there tends to be a lot more shake or a lot of crop in. But I'm just trying to see, uh oh, what happened here? ISO 100, there you go. ISO, ISO is auto. And I'm trying to I keep, uh, I keep hitting the uh, ISO, there we go. Uh, but I'm trying to get the environment. Let's see here, let's get the background. Background is still a little overexposed. Let's close down the iris a little bit more. Let's go down to 5.6. There you go, there you go, 5.6. And even if I'm in the shot, I'm actually totally underexposed now because of the background environment. Now it's trying to catch on to me using the uh, lens data, uh, not the lens data, uh, but uh, the exposure settings. Now let's bring that back to F2 and let's go back inside. So we've got a uh, high brightness setting and then I'm gonna come back inside. Let's bring this down back to a more appropriate uh, and, I'm, and I'm shaking the camera every time I hit it. So I'm bringing it down to ISO 1 over, not ISO, shutter speed of 1 over 160. And again, ISO has been generally, except for those few times where um, I bumped the ISO by accident, it's, ba it's been at ISO um, uh, at auto. So I'm letting the camera suggest it. And now I'm in a more dimly lit room. There's actually just a little sliver right here in terms of uh, the lighting that's coming in from some blackout curtains and this is what that footage just essentially looks like um i don't know what the iso is but if i were let's say manually manually dial in the iso we're at iso 6400 so this is iso 6400 let's go up a little higher let's go 12800 so we're now at iso 12800 in this room and uh, if I were to show you the, the setup that I have here, um, essentially I've got my microphone, the DD3 Pro, got the Tokina 11 to 16, I got the GoPro mounted right on top here. 
and um, and essentially this is the whole setup. Uh, my hope is to see this whole one take, how well uh, it stabilizes. Um, this is it, this is gonna be the test video. This is just a little showcase. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything beyond this, but I just wanted to see uh, if I were to make an attempt. Let's bring that ISO down. So now I'm at ISO 1600, right? Interior, indoors, ISO 1600. Uh, I wanna see how well this would pair. So let's go to the edit. Three, two, one, and...